It is Tuesday, the one day each week the Colts get to take off, but it's not a day of rest. The team uses days like this to give back to the community. As WRTV photojournalist Tony Grant shows us today, Colts players, cheerleaders and staff work to help build a new playground in just hours at IPS Ernie Pyle School number 90 on the near west side. So this is the 16th annual playground build that Sinclair Recreation has partnered with the Indianapolis Colts on. We work with IPS to identify a school who needs a new playground. Uh, maybe it's old or it's broken down or there's not accessible equipment. And then we come in with staff and players and our corporate partners and we build a playground in one day from the ground up. This school definitely had a need that we were so glad to be able to help fulfill to create a meaningful and engaging play space for these kids who've been in need of one for many, many years. So we've had several players out today. We have more still coming. Um, JT was out here, Pitt was out here. They uh, all come out and help build and uh, they're in there being physical as well and uh, helping to direct and, and uh, do the work right along with us. One of the biggest challenges of doing these community build projects is that you end up with 100 plus volunteers with very mixed skill set levels. What I love seeing is people learning new skill sets with power tools or, or hand tools that maybe they've not done before. Give them a little bit of self-confidence and also be able to take that home with them to know that they did something that really made an impact and a difference out here today. There you go. Perfect. We want to make sure kids have a safe play space uh, and a place to be active in and to get out when they need a break from school. And we know that having that time um, out running around and um, recharging uh, physically gives them that opportunity to have the best learning environment um, when they get back into the school building. The best part is when the kids come out at the end and they're excited and they're smiling and they can't wait to play on the new playground. Um, that's just the best feeling. After spending months and months of planning and then hours and hours of construction out here in the elements, to see the kids' faces and to hear the joy in their voices when they come out to play for the first time is really heartwarming. And properly maintained, this is going to be here for the next 20, 25 years, servicing thousands and thousands of kids. It's a really big deal, a nice add to the community. It's just really cool to see everybody come together and do something for our community to give kids something to be really excited about. Look at that excitement there. Well, the whole build took less than six hours. We want to thank our photographer, Tony Grant, for that story. And one thing I noticed in that video there, guys, I noticed some pants, some long sleeve shirts, some cloud cover. <laughs> right. Good day to get out there for this. Yeah, and you, you know, when you're working like that. They, you work yeah. up a sweat. Yeah, no doubt about it, but uh, did not look like they got caught by a downpour. No, and isn't it amazing what you can accomplish with such a large There's a lot of people out there. Yeah.